What's up, your Chuckle Fox? It's your boy, Dark Raku here with What If He Say oh, Was Saved by God. I was stretching, if you heard me kind of just stretch, but yeah. Um, I just woke up, and um, so now, uh, before I kind of continue on, I was going to record this yesterday, somewhere at the night, similar with what's it called, What If He Say Has Spiral Energy Part 12, but uh, I, I gave up. I literally felt kind of tired not really i felt really regenerated but not the point that's probably because i slept for a while and then i well, well you whatever whatever you don't even need to know the details so whatever let me just drink some water got them so of course this is where well we go into mostly part three of this what if so i don't really have that much time so i'm just going to record until i have to go somewhere but not the point so let's begin into mostly this water. We go into mostly Issei. Issei, well, yeah, Issei is with mostly his Onisan, someone, not really. Of course, mostly Issei is so annoyed with mostly um, Jigo always kind of like bringing him towards his like old classes. Yes, Issei has just been getting fucked over by none other than Jigo with mostly going to different classes. Ise wants to just ignore all this going forget it entirely. He wish he had amnesia. He wish he had amnesia and never met this asshole. Because literally this asshole is just bothering him too much. But he can't get away from him. Because he would have just been teleported back. Or yeah. Maybe one of those kind of cases. Just like, well, mostly Ise is just walking around. Of course, this is where Issei's face seems so dry. Think of it like Morty Jim, where Morty Jim was kind of like hungry and starving. Uh, of course, in that anime. Um, but yeah. If, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about where well, mostly more Jim, I don't think, ate for like a couple of days until he was just like having that yellow shirt and just starving. He's like, Ugh. He looked like he was about to die anytime soon. Issei was the same, but he wasn't hungry. He just wanted to fucking leave. He just didn't like this place at all. Of course, the were, well, mostly, with that happening, we go into mostly, Issei kind of bumping into mostly a family. Yes, accidentally a family. But this isn't just any ordinary family. It's none other than Aika's family. Yes, Aika Kiryu. Aika turns around, and of course, her family does the same. But mostly, it was someone with mostly, um, brownish hair. Someone has kind of like longish brownish hair. It kind of looks like Aika, but a lot like older and more mature. And of course, the other one looks like a male version. Well, not male version of what's it called? Mostly not a male version, but mostly just having like blackish hair and bluish. Well, not bluish eyes. Kind of like a little bit of a darker blue eye. But yeah, this is where well, both of them turns around to see the guy who actually bumped into Aika. Aika turns around and say, I I Is it? This is where, well, Issei said, huh? Oh, oh, shit. Issei says, damn it, I wasn't expecting Aika to be right in front of me. This is where, well, Jigo says, huh? Oh, uh, hello there. This is where, well, mostly Jigo kind of just waves at all, like, three of them. All of them, all of them don't get in a guard, but they do feel some kind of very interesting in energy from mostly Jigo. And it's quite somewhat dangerous. So, of course, most of the parents get in the car, except for Aika, because Aika was just looking at Issei. Issei said, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, what the hell do I say? What was my name in the game? Uh, name again? Uh, oh, yeah, in Margin Park. This is where oh, Issei goes, <clears throat> Issei, sorry, but the name is Margin Park. I think you mistake me for someone else. <laughs> this is where, where Jigga wants to smash his fucking head into the fucking wall. Because, yes, they uh, mostly Issei managed to get fucking Jigo to find in Colin Margin Park for a while. And not fucking Issei, but yeah. Does it work well? Mostly, uh, Jigo says, oh, for fuck's sake. He's just going into it and says, for fuck's sake, he said, come on. No one's going to believe you having a South Korean name, dumbass. This is where, well, mostly Aika's confused, and of course, the where, well, it's just, the only thing that's confusing her is Issei's blackish hair, and not his brownish hair, his darkish brown hair. Of course, his goldenish brown eyes is right in front of him, uh, well, yeah. That's the only thing that he has from an old appearance, but of course, he looks a little bit much skinnier and taller. 
So yeah, he looks just like Majin Park so much. His hairstyle is not entirely like Majin Park, so it looks a little bit more like uh Mosican. Or not Mosican. Mostly uh yeah. Mostly um uh, it looks more like Saint uh Saint Anigo. This is where well mostly Issei is over here kind of like kind of looking at Aika and this is where Aika says, No, you are Issei. This is where well mostly Issei said no no. It's Majin Park. Let me spell it out for you then. If you can't understand and you can't fucking spell my name. This is where I can say, no, you are easy. You are, you're easy. I'm not going to be just tricked by you. He says, like, I don't understand why you keep saying easy. I don't even know how to spell easy. I'm a South Korean fellow student that just chanced for a while here. This is where easy had his makeup bullshit. But yeah, hoping that I could just ignore the whole bull crap and that's where well, most Aiko says yeah I believe that like hell I will this is where most of says oh for fuck six he will use a bit of magic just to trick her but he noticed that she isn't human she's not a devil or a fallen angel or neither even he was a called angel she feels different and this is where her well Issei's brother actually stopped him mostly not brother but Jigo actually just stopped him saying Issei you shouldn't do anything huh why they're not human they're actually I'm guessing yokais this is where oh, I can actually pick it up except for her parents her parents didn't actually pick it up except for Aika because she was the closest one this is where well he says wait if they're yokais doesn't that mean that was a calm they can hear us well not the parents, but the girl can. Uh, you fucking idiot! Easy literally just kind of almost wanted to scream as Mosi Chico about that, but he just had to whisper at him. This is where, well, Mosi, I could did hear Easy's name being called out by the older person. And this is where, well, she scoffs and just goes up to Easy, grabs him from Mosi the coat, and of course pulls him in. This is where, well, Mosi Easy is confused, but of course they literally both kiss. This is where, well, Issei's face becomes red. Of course, Jigo says, oh my, I wasn't expecting this. This is where, well, mostly, uh, uh, mostly Aika's parents are kind of just shocked and confused and dumbfounded. And why Aika even did that? Issei was more dumbfounded and confused. Aika was fully red. This is where, well, she just turns around and looks away. Now, of course, the word, well, Issei said, uh, 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 uh. Dot, 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 dot. This is where, oh. Issei's face became almost entirely all red. And right now looks at Aika kind of just saying, what the hell is that for? God damn it. What the hell did he just do that for? This is where, oh, mostly Aika just says, because I have a small little crush on you. Ever since you kind of left. Well, mostly not left. Mostly came back and left. And uh, even... When, this is where she was starting because she did kind of had a small little crush on Issei. Every time she teased him about his perverted nature, she was only kind of teasing him and, of course, having more of a crush on him. But yeah, of course, when he left and, of course, how the school had turned on him and other things, made her kept, uh, well, kind of upset with the devils. Very upset with the devils. Of course, even with everyone else. But when Issei came back and completely looked like a badass because she was there during the Battle of Cocobel. But mostly, Issei wiped out, well, wiped the floor with Cookville and Freed. We're out of care in the world, of course. It was over here, just going on a priest, and, well, mostly acting like a full bishop and praying for the God of the Lord. But not the Bible God, but mostly the Jade and Emperor. This is what, well, she was kind of blushing over here and just kind of looking away from Issei. And this is what, well, mostly Issei looks at this and his face is almost entirely all red. It's red, like what's it called, great red scales. And even Ika's uh, face is almost the same color of red, but scarlet red almost. This is where, oh, mostly Jigo says, well, I should have took my phone out just to take a picture, damn it. This is where Issei turns around and looks at Jigo and says, no, we're not doing that. No, 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 no. This is where, well, mostly Ika's parents says, are you okay, Ika? This is where, well, mostly Ika nodded and saying, yeah. This is where, well, mostly Aika's father kind of goes up to Mosi Issei and Jogo and says, Hey, this is where, well, Issei said, uh, 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 uh. He just can't really bother with kind of talking to other people. So, of course, he just fully shut down. Jogo says, Sorry about that. It looks like my little brother, my little, uh, uh, Okataijo, or whatever the hell you say in Japanese or Nisa, 
I think it's Nissan. Oh shit. This is where, uh, if you heard that in the background, I just ignore it. Um, mostly, and Jago says, well, it seems like he just can't proceed with any of this information. So it seems he just, like, stopped working. This is what, well, we'll see Jago say with a very chuckling face. This is what, well, we'll see the older kind of looking man kind of says, I see. So, what's your name? Oh, the name is Jago Taichu. What, yeah, Taichi. This is where well, we'll see the person why his eyes are never expected to see. Well, someone quite dangerous. He is kind of somewhere, well, not in the top 10. He's quite dangerous. Mostly, they don't really count the Chinese cast too much in the top 10s because all of them are quite strong, especially the Jaden Emperor, who was actually close to that of mostly becoming the Supreme God. In his prime age, and would have beat the shit out of what it called Zeus and Odin six way in a damn Sunday. Even freaking putting Sarah Zex on that whole fucking thing, yeah, they would have also just get wiped out because the Jade Emperor was stronger than anything. Now, of course, they found out that this guy is actually a descendant of the Jade Emperor. This is what, well, mostly he winds his eyes and gets more on guard on, on mostly Jago. Jago says, Oh, so for being a yokai, you actually managed to sense the energy I release from my body. Tell me, if you attack me right now, what what do you think will happen? This is where, well, mostly the older kind of yokai kind of says, Damn it, you're right. What exactly are you doing here? Oh, just here with my little brother in his old school. I just came here to troll him about it. Other than that, we be leaving. We don't really cause any trouble. Bye-bye. This is where, well, mostly he says, I, 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 I. This is where, well, he just keeps saying I and just confused me. And this is where, well, I could notice how she completely broke Issei. Like, just, uh, yeah. Because Issei doesn't really hate the other, like, supernatural beings. He doesn't hate, like, what's it called, fallen angels. Or well, he does hate them to an extent. Uh, fall, well, mostly angels, he doesn't really hate us, really. He doesn't care. They're not devils. And he doesn't care about mostly the other supernatural beings like wolves, well, mostly werewolves, vampires, and like whatever shit else, like yokais, succubus, or whatever. If they don't bother him, they, well, they don't deserve to die. But yeah. But devils, he just hates them all, every single one of them. He literally thinks of them all being filthy scoundrels for him, but yeah. And shouldn't be in front of his lord, his god, his, yeah, you get the point. But this is where, well, we go into mostly, uh, Issei and Jago kind of walking away. Aika is right now blushing even more, and this is where her mother kind of says, So, Aika, how was your first kiss? Did you like that, Did you like the boy that you mentioned to us one time? This is where, well, mostly Aika's face is all right, and just looking away from her mother. But, yeah. But we go into mostly Issei, just being dry by mostly Jago, and this is where Jago says, Come on, Issei. Stop thinking about the past. I mean, yes, you just got kissed. Wow, good job. You got your first kiss by, what? Well, not a human, but technically it wasn't the devil this time. This is where Issa mentions that and says, Ugh, don't remind me of that thing. Oh, ugh. God, I can't believe I did kiss the devil. Look. This is where, well, we'll see, Jigo says, At least you kissed someone else now. Hope that can around your freaking love life now. This is where, well, Issa growls at Jigo, and this is where Jigo kind of just grins. Hey, it was such a sinister grin, and this is where, well, we'll see. Issei say, ah, whatever. But before them kind of walking away, or mostly going towards, well, mostly the next classes that Issei has had, Issei just say, screw it, just, let's just go to 7th hour. And this is where Jigo says, why? Because it's literal robotics, and I'd rather deal with the robotics teacher, because he didn't really care too much in what I did, and he, I didn't care too much in what he did. This is what my jungle says. Really? We're going to a teacher that really did, just didn't care? Hey, he just cared if I turned in the work, that's all. Very much anything else, not really. <sighs> Jigo says, fine, fine, fine. I think you need it because you just became, well, unable to walk somewhat. Well, I can walk. This is where, well, he can barely walk. This is where my jungle says, come on, I'll carry you. He says, no, I don't want to be carried. Do you want me to hold your hand like a little kid? This is where, well, he says, go off. This is where, well, mostly Issei starts trying to walk perfectly normally. But even though his brain is unable to process it, what the fuck happened to Aika and him, he is just, yeah. This is where, well, mostly we go into, well, 
the time skip of getting to the robotics class. When Issa is getting there, Issa says, move your stupid legs, you sound faster. This is where, well, mostly they bump into an actual, well, not an actual devil, but just a devil incarnation. It's not other uh, than, uh, what's it called? Uh, Sabaka? Oh, yeah, not Sabaka. Tab uh, Tabasa? No, not Sabasa. Uh, what's it, Tabasa? Wait. So her name was Sabasa. Of course, there was, uh, she was, she had kind of bluish short hair, kind of medium, but not the point. Of course, they were, well, she also had bluish eyes. She was wearing this kind of bluish outfit that wasn't in technically mostly the school uniform. Of course, there was also a girl with kind of whitish hair and kind of bluish eyes. Her name is was Momo. And, of course, the other girl was kind of reddish hair girl with two kind of ponytails, but not the point, or two pigtails. But this is where, well, she kind of had reddish eyes, and her name was Tama, or Toma, or whatever the hell it is. Of course, they were, well, she was a little bit shorter than the other two. But when they saw Issa and Jigo, they were actually kind of scared. Because Issa literally mentioned out that one time when he was, well, wit. Or, not entirely scared. They just noticed Issa really quick as of his golden brownish eyes. That's the only way to kind of mostly see Issa of his golden brownish eyes. His black hair does kind of look like dark brown, so what? Not really. But of course, they, were, well, they can actually manage to distinct him from just being in this disguise. This is where, well, they actually get scared, but yeah. But of course, it's not like Issa is actually walking towards them to kill them. Because they're devils. Because Issa is not really trying to cause a situation. He's just trying to go home. This is where Chico notices the three girls and says, Hello there. Will you mind moving out of the way? We are trying to get to the classroom over there. That's where, well, one of the girls says, but the teacher doesn't really want to see any, like, students or teach or, like, anyone. He says, it's better than dealing with half of you people. I, I'd rather just go there. I'm, I at least want to talk to him a little bit, but not the point. This is where, well, he says, said, with a very, look like he wasn't fully in control. This is where, well, most of you, Jigo had to take control of this because mostly Issei, he is still unable to respond too much. He acts like a robot oh, somewhat. This is where, well, we'll see. One of the girls kind of notices, is, is he okay? Jigo says, oh yes, don't worry. He just got his first kiss by one of the girls of the school. Of course, I think her name was Aika Kiryu. I made him unresponsive and he never felt probably any love. So, sorry about my little brother. He's just too kind of... Not knowing what to do with love, but yeah. This is where all of them nodded with the dumbfounded expression, but this is where, well, we'll see. I, uh, they kind of say, wait, Aika? This is where all three of them said it, and this is where Issei snaps out, realizing that these three are devils. And Issei glaring, and we'll see, um, Jigo. And this is where, well, Issei says, you fucking idiot. Why the hell did you tell these devils? This is where, well, they realize that Issei snapped out of his robotic state. And this is where Jigo says, oh, come on. You can't hate all devils, they're quite cute. They're just devil incarnations, aren't they? Issa says, devils are still devils, I don't care. Issa snaps his fingers in this way, well, swords appear all around the three of them. This is where Issa says, I don't give a damn, they're not devils. This is where, well, mostly uh, all of them wind their eyes and realize that they kind of snapped out Issa by their just kind of scream and just shockness. But of course, Issa also snapped out of his own dumb kind of expression and became back to being a serious murderer. Murderer who hates all devils. This is where, well, we'll see all of them wind their eyes and just realize they just screwed themselves over. This is where, well, we'll see something happens. Someone says, you know, in the power of a magical girl, you shouldn't be doing something like that. Attacking devils in the uh, devil territory. This is where Issei and Jogo turns around and says, the fuck was that? This is where, well, mostly Issei did count out as magic because he thought it was a human. And this is where, well, mostly they look at this, like, girl... Who is right now in those like pinkish outfit and having a wand around her, having black pigtails and having kind of like this magenta eyes. This is where well two people appear behind her, but right now just having having like this. What the fuck are you doing? Again, this is where well the other well mostly the two people are behind her are mostly just people with blackish hair. One has very longish black hair, very smooth black hair. Of course, having like different colored eyes. One being purple, one being kind of brown. The other is none other than Sona, and of course she has kind of short black hair into like a bob haircut or whatever. Of course, and not bob, mostly ball haircut, but not the point. Of course, the where she has magenta eyes, similar to the same as the girl who's wearing this magical girl outfit. This is where, well, mostly EC and Jago says, what the fuck? This is where, well, both of them just look at Seraphon because she is one of the mouths of what's it called, the underwear, but she has like a child.
Does he work well? Issei and Jago kind of just look at each other and does it work well? Issei says, please don't tell me. She's like one of you. <laughs> does he work well? We'll see. Jago say, ah, you expect me to actually become just such kiddish and actually troll you with this? That's why Issei says, yes, that's exactly what you would do. That's exact. Wait, didn't you... Didn't you fucking act like Naruto that one time? Didn't you try to color your hair fucking... Well, wait, no. No, no, I do remember you doing something similar to this to me. That one time. Jago's like, what do you mean? I wasn't doing anything similar to, uh, doing anything similar to this situation. Issei said, didn't you try to, like, put me as a dragon? And then just put me in a cage while you act like this weird anime character with fucking... What was it again? This is where... Well, we'll see, uh... Most of you are going to say, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is where Issei says, fuck you. That girl should be fucking perfect for you when you date her. This is where we'll see Sarah and even Jigo's face becomes right and says, what? No. This is where we'll see Issei says, not the fucking point. I don't even think you were dating the devil, but that's not the fucking point. This is where we'll see Jigo says, Ugh. I mean, would you like to have a sister-in-law who actually is a devil? He says, God, no, please no. don't, don't do it, don't. I, I just, I didn't mean to say Onisan. This is what well, most of the Isai said with that, trying to kind of get out of the conversation. This is where Jigo says, ah, you finally call me Onisan. I'm going to treasure this forever. Isai says, oh God, never mind. Do whatever the fuck you need to, but I don't want to be anywhere near you. This is where well, mostly everyone switch up and mostly Jigo and Isai's interaction. They're like brothers and one, but not entirely. This is where well, mostly Sarah will say, <clears throat> Well, in the power of magical girl, uh, you should be kind of arrested, you two. This is where, well, Jigo says, what did I do? I just clearly just watched my little brother got his first kiss from a girl and his brain just froze. How the fuck is that a crime? This is where, well, we'll see, Sarah Fox says, uh, oh, uh, then what exactly happened here? Oh, mostly Issei doesn't like devils here. This is where he puts his hand over Issei. Issei said, you fucking idiot. Why the hell did you just say Issei? You could have said Majin fucking Park, you dumbass. This is where Mojo goes, says, you realize that's such a fucking South Korean name. Are we in South Korea? No, we're not. And you're not definitely, you don't look anything South Korean. Fuck you, Issei said with such an annoyed tone. This is where, well, we'll see. Mojo goes, says, whatever. Pick your fucking next name of Japan, then, and we can call you that. What, Japanese? Ichigo? No. Okay, fine. Kampachi? So, no. Uri, Urahara? Uh, um. And? Okay, I can't remember his last name. Okay, no. Sosuke Aizen? No. Motherfucker trying to become the villain. If I'm going to have a name, it's going to be a villain name. Now, fuck you. No. You have all. No. Besides, you don't have the almighty. I wish I had the... Well, mostly... He says, I wish I had the almighty so I could fucking kiss your ass then, asshole. This is where... Well, mostly... Um... Jigo, uh, mostly Jigo just smirks and says, Yeah, that's not happening. He scoffs. And this is where... Well, mostly... Uh, Jigo says... What else do you want to be named that isn't so difficult to understand? Fine. Grim Jow. No. Fuck you. Oh, no. This is where, well, no thanks. I have a girlfriend. You do? Where? She's right in front of you. Are you really going to go after a devil? No, but I just want to say that. This is where Sarah Falls face becomes red, and even the other girls in this work well, mostly Issei scoffs and says, whatever. I'm just gonna fucking go to my classroom, that's all. I just, I just, I just don't wanna deal with this shit. Fuck off. This is where Issei's face becomes more teary and annoyed, and of course just walks away. This is where, well, mostly everyone swatch off because it's somewhat. Uh, Mostly Issa is kind of dealing with this person like if mostly it's somewhat similar to that of like Sarah and someone's relationship. Mostly as sisters. This is where, well, Issa kind of gets annoyed and just walks away. But yeah, this is where, well, mostly Jigga chuckles and says, oops. Well, I kind of made him cry. That would probably be bad if mostly, mostly the J Dumper finds out. He's probably going to kill me. Well, grandfather, do well, if he finds out. Yeesh. Not the point. I should be probably be going also. Nice to meet you there, uh, Mal of uh, what's it called, Sarafar right? The name is Chego uh, Taiku. And if you ever want to call me, maybe we can see each other at what's it called, the meeting.
Mm. This is where well, mostly Isi, uh, well, well, not Isi, mostly Jugo kind of said, well, mostly Jugo starts walking away, but yeah, of course, well, Isi's kind of classic. Sarah Ford just got axed out, and her face is entirely red. She does like kind of Jugo. His kind of look is mostly that of a cute boy, but yeah. But of course, she knows well much better than he is not a, no a normal human. He is quite dangerous, and of course, most of his grandfather also dangerous because he can really beat the shit of all four mouths and probably four sheriffs. And also the four kind of cauteries, sorry, and the phone each or whatever. Mostly anyone. He can literally just beat up anyone if he was in his prime. Now, Issei is considered to be under the protection of what they call the Jaden Emperor. So even if Seraphos tries to do anything towards mostly Issei, Issei does have the power of the Jaden Emperor behind him. So anything illegal. Or, yeah, Indigo, whatever, takes action against Issei, it would never affect him that much. Because, well, he probably has the support of all the Chinese gods. Even what's it called Wukong, probably. <sighs> mostly, Sarafa just sighs, and thank God nothing else. Well, not thank God, mostly thank goodness nothing really bad happened too much. But, yeah, other than that, this is where, well, we go into a time skip of mostly Issei and Chugo managing to leave out of school. But they bump into mostly two parents, and that is none other than Issei. Issei's parents, mostly Issei's like mom and dad. This is where, well, Jugo says, who are you two? This is where, well, mostly both of his parents guard Issei, mostly away from Jugo. And this is where Issei says, who are you people? This is where, well, mostly Issei's parents say, you don't know us? But Issei, we're your mom and dad. And Issei says, Issei? Sorry, you mistake me for being, my name is not Issei. The name is Majin Park. That's right. Chigo wants to smash his face into it and say, We're not. I told you we're not calling you that. God damn it. Why do you keep trying to bring it back up? And does it work well? Mostly, uh, Chigo's just so annoyed with his little brother right now. Or mostly just, yeah. Because they're kind of the topic, but not the point. Mostly, um, uh, EC kind of says, So I do not know who you people are. This is where Issei walks past him, and of course his father grabs his hand and says, Issei, you don't remember us? It's me. Your Issei says, sorry, but I do not understand who you people are. I can barely speak Japanese. I can only translate a little bit, but truly, I am a South Korean person. Issei had his son would just act like South Korean, but yeah. This is where almost he, his parents just dumbfounded and decides to probably mistake Issei for someone else. Easy thing says fucking thank goodness. Oh god. Well, he doesn't say thanks goodness, he says thank fucking god. This is where, uh, mostly, uh, some people just walk behind him, and it's none other than what's it called? Well, Zenobia and even Asia. And this is where Easy looks disgusted at them. This is where, well, he looks disgusted at mostly Asia, and this is where he sees Zenobia, he just looks disgusted also. So. A bit, well, not a bishop, how should I say? An exorcist like you decides to become a devil. Pathetic. This is where well, mostly Zenobia kind of growls at Issei because she only wanted to kind of talk to him about having strong children. But of course, it looks like that's impossible when Issei literally hates devils entirely. And this is where well, mostly Azia says, That's not very nice. It's shut up, you brat. This is where well, he glares at mostly Azia and Azia just looks away. Right now, Zenobia tries to protect him, but this is where well, Issei just kind of walks away. Now, of course, this is where well, Jugo and Issei were about to leave. But they actually bump into mostly someone at a group of stairs. Three redheads. One being kind of the leader of the Grimmery. One of them kind of being Lucifer of the Underworld. And one of them being the heiress. A spoiled little princess brat. And he says, oh, fuck, you can't be serious. This is where when they turn around, they see Issei. But of course, they see also Jiggle. And mostly, well, Sir Sex and even uh, Zeracus already noticed a Jiggle. He's quite dangerous. His aura is quite dangerous. Mostly Sarsex like already recognized him and seeing he's almost re uh, pretty dangerous. But seeing Issei, we'll see. He noticed this is Issei's energy. Mo mostly it's kind of like Issei's energy when he met the boy during the kind of saving of his sister. But the boy has a much more powerful, holy kind of energy. This is where, well, he is no longer a devil. He would have been considered a straight devil for the fact that Issei did attack his master, well, his ex master, because. Mostly, he no longer has the evil pieces, and he's under the direct, uh, direct, mostly, uh, he's under the protection of the Jaden Emperor. Making him, yeah, just one of the rare cases that he's no longer a straight devil. Just under the protection of a god, a powerful god in that case. But yeah, 
Most of these days, for fuck's sakes. This is where well, most of Reyes has heard from Sona that Issa looks kind of completely different, and she'll probably stay away. But Sona, uh, well, Sona should have realized that Reyes is not going to do that, and the search should piss him off any further. Which Reyes says, Issa, that's you, right? This is where well, most of Issa looks at her and says, The name's Margin Park. No, I know who you are. Sona already texted me. Oh, that fucking bitch. Seriously. Ah. This is where well, Issei just gets annoyed and was about to use his char- uh, well, we'll see his ability, his god weapons, until his brother stopped him and says, We're in the middle of a bunch of humans, we shouldn't do that. Issei gets angry and just fucking walks away, pushing Rias out of the way and saying, Fuck off, you damn devil. I do not give a damn who exactly you are. Your brother can attack me for all I damn give a damn, but he won't be able to see, uh, well, make a bunch of humans unsee what you people are, full of nothing but devils and scums. This is where, well, mostly Issei walks away. Jigo kind of says, that was unnecessary. You could have walked easily straight, but you wanted to push the devil. Ah, uh, whatever. This is where, well, Jigo just walks along with him and, of course, get out of the school. They use a magic circle to finally get out and go back to China. Issei went into his bed, using a powerful magic barrier around him and say, fuck off, I'm not going back. This is where, oh, Jigo kind of swears up and kind of just smiles at him, but yeah. This is where, like, an evil grin, but yeah, he can't do anything. That powerful bear literally would stop him. And probably even hurt him, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly Issei goes to his bed and sleeps. But yeah, the next day is none other than the, what's it called? Kind of meeting for mostly the whole factions, the three factions. But this is where, well, Issei is refusing to go. Literally refusing to go, but yeah. Other than that, I'm going to, well, leave because I gotta go. Other than that, bye, saying yeah, bye. Yeah.